so we're group nine and we actually had the quad that's just to your left here so we took a quick visit and we were totally inspired by the residents multicolored washing lines we thought that was such a vigor for life that they clearly show and we wanted to represent that in our design so we've decided to go for a multicolor play park a rainbow play park and we've got rainbow beds for planting all colorful fruits and veg and um, so we also knew that we couldn't have anything too tall that would cover any of the windows for the residents but we also wanted a space that was for children and for adults we actually spoke to a resident who said she wanted to have a space that her children could feel comfortable she could look out the window and that they would be able to have education as well with how to plant fruits and veg and something to create a healthy lifestyle yeah so and um, these are some renders down here that we made um, and there is on the other side of the site a pathway that leads into the communal garden so we went through there and the path does stop as soon as you get to the rectangle so we decided to continue the path and leave it through the garden and we've got two main squares one of them has a children's park as you can see here and another further along has a seat in for residents to make out what they want to do in that area um, and then you can see the colourful beds as well here so some of them have benches in between them so have a little seat if they get tired or anything like that have a little seat within the garden and some of them are full long planters and the residents can do whatever they want with them they can plant flowers plant vegetables plant fruit whatever they want to do with them they could implement in those and um, we also looked at a house as well so we were mainly inspired by the precedent of the way that uh, Copenhagen handled their uh, historic uh, quads in the center uh, of the blocks or in Norabra is a similar area uh, in demographic to see it. Uh, lots of a uh, migrant population, a little bit impoverished uh, and with a serious crime problem and the way they solved this was by activating the locals uh, through initiatives such as uh, planting and uh, vegetable growing and stuff to make them feel an ownership of the space so that they would help guardian it. And yeah, I suppose as Hammer touched on, we're, we're listening to the community, the community mentioned about they want uh, play parks that the kids can feel safe, they want the kids to go there and be okay. I know there's a lot of food poverty in there, a lot of people going to the time food parks, so that's why we did this idea of the vegetable gardens. It's based on the, I don't speak Spanish now, so uh, Organo Pinko or something like that, it's out in Cuba. It's an idea for urban gardens, you have to worry about soil quality, stuff like this. Mm -hmm. And that provides, and we've mentioned now, because these pods, they're everywhere, there's lots of green spaces, so you can provide an opportunity for scale, it's going really be brought up to me, even doing cooperative levels to employ people and so on. So, that's, so yeah, we've really, frankly, we've done really, hopefully an intervention that could help. And we, I would say we've taken from real world examples, hopefully, so we can work and can work in season two.